Hello there gorgeous gamers and welcome back to Pure Play TV and we've got our first look at Rust Console Edition coming soon to PS4 and Xbox One. I've done my first hour in the wastelands and I'm here to tell you what happened. Let's have a gander, shall we? First of all, this is not a full review. That will come later. Secondly, there is a disclaimer I have to mention. I played Rust Console Edition on PS5. The review kit I received stated that Rust Console Edition has been optimised for PS4 and Xbox One, not PS5 and Xbox Series XS. That said, the performance on PS5 was far superior than on PS4 Pro. On PS5 the game ran really well at 60fps. On PS4 Pro the frame rate was unstable and walking forward felt like my character was being pulled back every few seconds, never really allowing for full speed. Bear in mind, the game will be updated before and after release. It's also worth noting for those who don't know, Rust Console Edition is an online only game. You will need an online connection to play and an active PlayStation Plus membership to play online. So my first hour, how did it go? Not amazingly well, to be honest. I woke up in the game almost naked and with nothing but a rock and a wooden torch to my name. Normally, I'd call that a good night out in Amsterdam, but in Rust, it's dangerous. On one occasion, after dying, I spawned, woke up, and I was promptly killed by a bear. It was after the 6th or 7th death and rebirth that I wished the game would be just a little more lenient and maybe give me a gun or something. But that is Rust for you. It's brutal, and you need to adapt quickly to survive. I adapted. Slowly. Very, very slowly. Exploring the island, you're able to find bits and bobs that you can use to craft useful stuff. So if you can get some wood, you can build a simple mallet. If you can get your hands on some fibres, you can make some clothes, and so on. It's not always easy to tell what the icons in the crafting menu mean though, so it was a good 45 minutes until I managed to get some pants on my character. Most of my time was spent mooching around trying to find something to do. Somebody to talk to, or even to fight with. Just anything. I did come across some scientists and they were less than friendly. They either killed me in person with their guns, which I was very jealous of, or their massive automatic turrets caught me unawares. The scientists are not friendly then, but why are they there? Well, the island is full of radiation zones and if you should wander into an area that's irradiated, you'll get radiation poisoning, which will deplete your health. An easy fix is to wear some clothes, but like I said, I spent my first 45 minutes in my bra and knickers, so I was stung with the nuclear juice a few times. I did eventually meet a human and I was happy to see that they were in as dire a situation as I was. They were also in their undies and they didn't seem to have any decent kit with them. Good stuff. I asked them, using the radial menu, if they were friendly. They said they were, so I told them to follow me. I'd made a friend and I was going to keep this friend for- no I wasn't. I was going to lead this poor fucker to his death. I made him follow me towards an area I knew to be overlooked by a scientist turret. I was going to let him run ahead and watch him get mown down, just for my own jollies. I had a change of heart though, and I decided to try and cave his head in with a rock. It didn't work, and I even tried to throw the rock at him, but I missed and he ran away. I gave him a couple of messages through the radial menu, and I let him go. Our origin story was complete, and we would now be sworn enemies, set to battle each other over and over again. At least that's what I thought, but then the idiot came back. He actually stood in front of me, so I clobbed him round the head with my wooden torch. He fell to the ground. I had the option of helping him up or finishing him off. The origin story was also to be the big finale. I smacked him round the face again and then teabagged his corpse because I'm an actual man-child. My next encounter with a fellow human would come after another death. I'd respawned in a different location and it was to my benefit. In this area, I came across loads of hemp, which I used to make clothes. I mined some metal ore and collected some other shiny stuff, but I also came across the dead body of another player. The area had a nicely built up fortress, and it was my guess that the builder and owner of that fortress was also the killer. I decided to make tracks and get the hell away. I wandered and wandered until I eventually came across another human player. This guy looked like he knew what he was doing, and I was a little anxious. 
Did he have better weapons than me? Would he be friendly? Or would he kill me where I stood? Using the radial menu, I asked if he was friendly and if I could join him. He didn't reply. Instead, he carried on with his work. He was collecting wood and stone, so I set about doing the same. I mirrored his actions to show that I'm not a threat. That's a tip straight from the Nard Dog. Thanks, Andy. I followed this chap around for a while, and he seemed to not mind. In fact, his turning around to face me and then jumping was a clear sign that he was friendly and wanted my company. I followed the guy back to his base. It was nice, but I didn't get to go inside. Instead, we took off down the way a little, where he had a hut already built, minus the door. He crafted the door onto the opening and signalled that I should go inside. So I did. How I never got abducted as a child, I'll never know. And that was my first hour in Rust Console Edition. I woke up, I died. I woke up again, I got eaten by a bear. I woke up, I explored, I made a friend. I killed a friend, I explored. I found a body, I found weed. I made clothes, I made a new friend. I gained a home. But did I have fun? I don't really know. I definitely need to spend more time in the game to explore the possibilities, to learn the mechanics, and to get myself out of that tiny hut and build myself an elaborate fortress. Because right now, I think I'm somebody's bitch. And that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go on down below, hit the like and subscribe buttons, and give the bell icon a nudge so that you're notified whenever we've got new stuff. Go to the info box and you'll find our social media channels, website links, and our supporters page, where you can support our team if you can. I've been Chris, you've been gorgeous, and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, bye bye.